Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to encode URLs in Angular. In this video, we will explore different methods to encode URLs properly to ensure safe and valid navigation within your Angular application. Encoding URLs is essential when dealing with user input or dynamic parameters to prevent any potential security vulnerabilities or unexpected behavior. We will also demonstrate how to test these functions and showcase their real world usage. Before we begin, make sure you have Angular CLI installed and basic understanding of Angular components and routing. If you don't have your project created already of Angular, then create a new Angular project and then you can resume from here. Once you have your project created and you are inside your project, then you need to generate a new component called URL encoding. So let's do that in the terminal. I'm going to run this command ng generate component URL encoding. Okay, on the left sidebar, you can see that the component has been generated with that name. Now in the URL encoding.component.ts file, I need to inject a service router is equal to inject. Uh, make sure to import the inject function from the angular slash core and also import the router class or service from the angular slash router. Okay, once that is done, we need to define a function and code URL URL colon string. So this is a type of the URL and we will create a constant and code URL is equal to encode URI and pass it that URL. Okay, next we need to navigate it to that URL by running this command. This encode URI function takes URL as input and returns an encoded version of it. It replaces uh, the certain characters that have special meaning in the URL with their encoded counterparts. For example, spaces are replaced with percentage 20. Sometimes you might need to encode specific components of a URL such as query parameters. In such cases, you can use the encode URI component function. So let's define a method to encode URL components. So for that, I'm going to create a function encode URL component and we will receive the base URL that would be string and then I will receive the first parameter param1 that would be of type string and param2 with the type string so first we need to encode our parameters so use the constant encoded param1 is equal to encode URI component pass it the first parameter and then create and then parse the second parameter and save it in this variable and now i will create a constant url is equal to okay so in this way i have concatenated the base url with encoded param1 and encoded param2 okay and once that is done we will navigate user to that specific url so here the encoded URA component function encodes a single component of url such as a query parameter. It replaces more characters than encode URI, including the characters like equal, percentage, and plus. So open the URL encoding.component.html. We are now going to test these functions. So here add buttons to test the encoding function. First, I will add a, a heading. And I also want to use the ng model. For that, I need to import the forms module in the import array of the url encoding dot component so let's do that forms module as we have added the forms module now i can create few properties here so now in the html let's complete our uh, inputs so first i will bind it with that url to encode variable here i will use a two-way binding syntax ng model and bind it with the url to encode and then i will create a button below that and within that button i will add a text encode and i will take that url to encode variable and pass it to the encode url function let's add other inputs as well encode url components
So these input fields and buttons allow you to test encoding functions by entering URLs and parameters and observing the encoded URLs in the browser's address bar. So let's test it with the help of that. But for that, I need to import the URL encoding in the app component imports array because I'm using standalone component. So I will have to do that in the imports array URL encoding component. Okay, now in the HTML, I will remove this hello world and instead of that, I will add app-url-encoding, save it. Now you will see your entire form here. Here, whatever you will mention, it will try to redirect you to that page. So for example, if you type something here like that, it is saying that it will not definitely work because uh, this route doesn't ex exist. But, but I just wanted to show you the example that how uh, this thing works. So for example, you add hello world and click on the encode. You can see that it has encoded and try to redirect on that page. Okay. We can get, get rid of the redirection in this function because this, we know that this is not going to work. I'm just going to show the console, the logs. So hello world ABC. So whatever you will type, it will encode the URL. And if you add plus or uh, something like that, it will not encode that because this encoding for spaces only but if you want more options then you can use the url encode url components function so here you can mention the url for example this is my base url so i have added that here and here i will add the parameter hello world and abc and equal i'm just adding some character so that we could see so you can see it tried to redirect us to that uh, route. So it has encoded the hello plus character. So it has changed the plus character to this percentage 252 B character. And similarly, it has encoded all of these characters. Although this route doesn't exist, but I hope that this should give you some understanding how this works. So instead of redirecting, I can just console it just to show you. Let me remove the router because we, it is not being used. It was just for example. So let's do that again. And this is coded URL by using the encode URL function and this obviously. So for example, you have a blog and here you can pass the parameter one. For example, this is a post slug. So for that you can add. So here I will add hello world tutorial and in the second parameter we want to see the comments okay if you click on that you can see that it has encoded this part so this is what it has made let's demonstrate a real world scenario where encoding url is necessary so let's suppose you have a search functionality in your application when a user enters a search query you need to encode the query before passing it as a URL parameter to ensure proper handling of the special characters and prevent any potential issues. So in the URL encoding component file, add, let's add input field and a button for search functionality. So for now, let me get rid of all of these for, and instead of that, I will just add a simple variable search query and type would be string and by default it is empty and let's get rid of this actually let's keep the first section and here i will add the heading search and then in the ng model i will add the search query and in the placeholder i will specify the enter search query and here we will just call a function called search products and the text would be the search okay and now in the TS, I will just remove all of these functions. And instead of that, I will create a function search products and constant encoded query is equal to encode URI component. This dot search query. Okay. Now we can create a constant URL is equal to backtick slash search and question mark query is equal to encoded query. Okay. So after that, I will navigate user to that specific route. This start router. Uh, let me inject the router again. Okay. Now we can navigate user to that URL. 
so this method encodes the user search queries search query using encode uri component constructs the search url by appending the encoded query as a parameter and navigates to the resulting url so let's test the application now here i will add hello world xyz search i did not call that function that way it was not working now it should work hello world xyz search it uh, it is just saying that you search is not found so we can quickly create a route that will match this path so in the app routes i will add a route path search and in the component let's create another component search component and we will use that here instead search result press enter okay now i can use that component search result here in this way now in the app dot component i have to add router outlet so that we could use the routing properly okay this is the main page now if i type something hello world abc search it you can see that it has redirected us to a second page url this is a new route that we just created and the query is fully encoded that you can see and we are on the search result page you can make it more prominent by adding a heading here on the search result page okay so you can see we are now on the search result page all right congratulations you have learned various methods to encode urls in angular and how to test and use them in the real world scenarios remember to use encode uri for encoding complete urls encode uri component for encoding specific url components and always encode user input before using it in urls to maintain a secure and reliable application if you found this tutorial valuable please like and subscribe for, to our channel for more angular tutorials feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below thanks for watching and see you next time